hope this isn't a long video. I feel like I've been talking. Hey guys and welcome back if it's your first time here. Before we even get into anything, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button and the notification bell just so you know what's happening and you don't miss any posts. And uh, this episode, I am going to be doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. Like it's always been on my mind, but it's just been admin. I'm going to do a like affordable, I think it's almost like drugstore. Yeah, drugstore face and a bougie because who you know I like things. So bougie face on this side. So the drugstore face is going to be stuff that most of it is available in South Africa. Um, and I know people are going to come for me at the end with the prices, but just remember that like you don't buy everything at once. So I'm going to do this on this side and then on this side is just bougie. So most of the stuff is stuff that I've bought overseas. Some of it is available here, but you'll pay a premium for it. And the foundation I actually haven't even used. So I'm excited to see that on camera. I didn't want to buy new stuff because I just wanted to see what the stuff that I've got um, and also my coins and fair, but just not adding up right. I don't know if they're not adding up or if I'm not adding up, but the math just doesn't, yeah. 2 plus 2 equals 0 right now. So um, this is stuff that I have and I'm just going to try and make it work. So we are going to prime. So for my affordable side, I am using Maybelline. I actually use this a lot. Uh, Maybelline, it's baby skin primer. I'm just going to put it on this side. Guys, excuse my bags. Like this week, I got sick at some point. Like it was just... It was, it was trying. So I actually really like this and I use it often. On the other side, to be honest, I don't even really like this thing. That's why it's like, it's just still, there's like so much product in here. This is um, Benefit Pore Freshenal. This is their Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. So this one's very mattifying and it kind of does that thing of like leaving residue so it's not it's actually and then look i'm white it's actually not my favorite primer in this life so now i'm just looking like casper the ghost so on the primers i'm definitely more of a i mean i'll go with the maybelline i'm going to do my let's do foundation first today normally I, I do I, I don't know I actually switch I don't know it just depends what mood I'm in I think I'm just like avoiding doing the eyes so we're gonna do the foundation on the affordable side let's start with the affordable I am going to use this L'Oreal L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear it's the color 365 deep golden I mean we're always deep here eh, aren't we let's go in and it's definitely i think it's oh i put a lot there um it's got yellow undertones the only issue now is because of the sun it's summertime here my skin has has gotten a bit darker and i know you're not meant to go on the eyelid but it happened and i really want this to be i'm a full coverage hun like i like full coverage so that's what i'm gonna give you and this is definitely buildable. What I like about this foundation is it feels pretty light. It's not like tacky. It feels very light on the skin. Like you don't feel like you're wearing so much. I haven't, I haven't tested it for 24 hours and I probably never will. A hot mess. Like what am I trying to do? This is just me gone through a long week. This is just... <laughs> on the bougie side, I got this... I got this in Paris, so I haven't used it. I just got it because I like things. Um, I haven't used it because I've got so many like open foundations. I don't want to like open another one. But for the sake of this video, for you guys, it's going to be used. When, when the lady matched me, I knew it was like a bit red. But like, ugh, it was just, I don't know, we'll see now. I can't really remember. But I remember thinking, this thing is too red for me. It's the color... Oh, sorry, I forgot to even say what it is. So it's Lang... Uh, not Lancome. It is Giorgio Armani Bougie. 
Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Ooh. And this is the color 13.5. I feel like the, the 5, that 0.5 is for warmth or something. Because this is warm. And I'm just going to put... Yeah, this is not the right color. Oh, no. So I can really see from just putting it on my hand that this is not going to work. Okay, let's just go in. It's done now. And I knew, I told this chick. Oh, no. It was Sephora in Paris, somewhere in Paris. And that is not my, that's not my undertone. I'm so mad because this is not cheap. But I wanted to use it because it's the bougiest foundation I have. Oh, I'm so mad. Just looking like a whole tomato. Uh, oh, I look like a cherry tomato, just plump. That is not my shade. Oh my gosh, guys, I got played and it's not, guys, this thing costs, it costs 900 Rand. It is not cheap. I don't even know if I can use this. I don't know anyone with this. I knew it was dark and then I knew. I feel like she didn't have the right shade and she just pushed this one out. I don't. Oh. But I like the finish though. So concealer on the affordable side, I'm gonna use, doesn't get any more affordable than LA Girl Pro Conceal. I have used it before. And I'm just gonna go under my eyes. I'm not really a fan of the application the actual brush. And on the other side, the bougie side, the tomato side, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear. It's good and I feel like this will hopefully rescue this uh, foundation. So I'm putting a lot more concealer here just because I'm trying to just bring this foundation back. This is a mess, yeah? Excuse my brows also, we'll fix that. Before I actually blend it in, let me put my contour. I'm missing one contour. Okay, got it. So on the affordable side, I'm, again, I'm going to use the um, Allego Pro Conceal, just in a deeper shade compared to what we use as the concealer. And I'm just going to put some over here. And some down here, the Bad and Bougie. I am using Miss Bobbi Brown Foundation Skin Foundation Stick. So this is actually a foundation stick uh, that I'm using as a contour. And I'm just gonna go there. It's lighter than that one. It looked darker when I got it. Okay, this LA Girl dries up quickly, so you better work. And I've just got like bags under my eyes and I feel like the concealer is not even going to do anything to that. It's just, it's just a week. I like to check on camera because sometimes the camera actually shows you the real truth compared to some of these mirrors to see if you blend it in. Let's blend this in. I really hope this br brings back this look. There's nothing like a beauty blender, hey? That's why I'm just like trying to figure it out with these two. Anyway, just blend it in. Okay, so I definitely think that the concealer did help this side just to uh, make it a bit cooler because that red, but you can see, oh, that red, whew, raspberry. I, not even a tomato, it was a raspberry. Let me just rate the stuff quickly. Foundations, it's a tricky one, right? It's a tricky one because as much as I like the finish of this, the match is wrong, but that doesn't mean the product's whack. This, the color's right, but it's definitely like lighter and I like full coverage. So I'm still, okay, let me be fair, this one, because I mean, this, this is wrong. So this one, um, concealer, Estee Lauder, definitely, definitely one. And contour, this one was lighter and a bit warmer. It's a bit more natural, so I'll go for the Bobbi Brown. Um, so next, let me do my brows because, so next, let me just set my face. For the affordable side, I'm using Black Opal True Color Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. And I'm just going to go in under my eyes. Oh, I, I went in too hard. 
I'm not gonna set my whole face just because I'm still gonna work. I might use some cream products um, around, so I don't wanna put too much powder. And then on the bougie side, I am going to use All Faithful Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in medium deep. I don't know why I'm doing that. I mean, I'm not even near my mouth. <laughs> now I'm trying to hold it in. Okay. Okay, this one is definitely easier to apply. So you know what? I'm actually not mad at the foundation anymore. After the concealer and the powder, it's actually just coming together. It's not as red. It's balanced out a bit. Or a lot, actually, because that plum juice was not... It wasn't a move for anyone. So now onto my brows. I'm just, I just need to get these sorted because no one needs to be subjected to this, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is LA Girl Shady Slim Brown Pencil. It's the color Blackest Brown. If you wanted your brown to be black, then this is it because it's the blackest brown. They said it. Don't, don't at me. What I like about this pencil, I actually do like it, is that it's quite smooth, um, easy to put on. So I'm not too keen on this color. I chose it wrong. It's a bit, it's a bit ashy. And for my bougie side, I'm going to be using the Ultimate Duo. I mean, it doesn't get any more eyebrow-y than Anastasia Brow Wiz, my go-to, and the brow gel. So it's, same sort of thing, there's a brush one end and then the pencil one end, also a micro pencil. So the issue with my brows, right, because I know some people are probably wondering, why is this chick on our screens with these messed up brows? And what I was trying to do is, I was planning on getting microblading and then I didn't manage to go to the appointment. I was growing them out just so I have like a proper consultation and the chick can see how my brows actually grow. And then I got, I didn't go to the appointment and now I still have these brows that are just not for anyone. And I kind of got used to not getting them done. So now I'm just lazy. So for the brows um, between Anastasia and LA Girl, I'm definitely gonna stick with my Anastasia. Um, let me just top it out with my brow gel. <laughs> um, I definitely think the finish is better on the Anastasia. I like the application of the LA Girl, but not so much the color, and this looks more natural, looks more feathery. This kind of looks like, I don't know how to describe that, but yeah. And now, the part that I kind of wasn't looking forward to, the eye shadow. For the affordable side, I'm going to be using NYX. It's a combination of two palettes. So for the affordable side, I'm going to be using a combination of two palettes. Um, just because I couldn't find a single affordable palette that I kept, that I liked. Um, they're both by NYX. They're both contour palettes, so it's everything in one. One is the Contour Intuitive palette. And this is the Love Contours All. So these are the colors. I actually used this in my previous video. I did a full face of NYX. So um, I know how these work. I wasn't too impressed, but they actually ended up working in the end, and then these are the colors in this one. So I'm gonna just use a combo of that and see where this look takes us. And then on the bougie side, I just wanted to choose a palette that has pretty much the same colors as these in one palette, and nothing has that more than the Jaclyn Hill palette. I mean, that literally has everything. So I'll try and make a similar look um, on both sides. I feel like this is gonna be hard. This is why, this is why I wasn't looking forward to the eyes because this is actually gonna be the hard part. And like I said, this week has just been, woo, something else, something else. Let me tell you guys, adulting, they never told us. And I think I get why they didn't tell us because everyone's just trying to make it for themselves. Like no one has time to be telling other people about it because I mean, just do what you need to do. That's what everyone else is doing, right? I get it. Transition color, I'm gonna go with this color over here. Just like a brown chocolatey. On my 
I like things side of the face. Let me start with, what's the equivalent? I'll start with this as my transition color. So just from applying those two colors, um, there's definitely more pigment in the uh, Morphe blue over here. Or teal, I don't know. Just pack it onto the lid. And then I'm gonna throw in another shimmer, just because we're going extra today. Um, I am going to use, and I'm going to put it on the middle of my lid, just for some dimensions. To also finish off the eye look, um, on the outer sides, I'm gonna use a dark color. I'm missing brushes, I'm like, my back hurts. I don't know why my back hurts, it's getting old. It's literally hurting from like, from just being alive. And then for my inner corner eye, I'm going to use, on my bougie side, I'm gonna use this color, which is Obsessed. Why is it obsessed with me? Just for that inner corner eye. And then on the affordable side, Ooh, there's nothing here for us. Oh, let me use this, this highlighter shade. That is our shadows. I'm actually really liking the look. I do, I don't know which color I like. I think this is a lighter color, more flattering. Um, I'm gonna go with the Jackie and Hill palette on this one, just because it was easier to put on the colors. Like, I didn't have to work so hard and I prefer the tones. What's next? It's chaotic, it's chaotic, it's chaotic, it's happening. Um, let's do our blush. For the cheap side, the whole cheap side, hey? For the affordable side, because cheap is, I don't know if cheap is a good word. Um, but this is a cheap, this is a cheap blush. So this is by Catrice, I think that's 70 Rand, which is, I mean, if you can find a better blush, then, if you can find a more affordable brush, then you're, you did well. Um, so I'm just gonna put that, it is pink. And then on the other side, I am going to do NYX. Um, this is the famous NYX blush, the colors Orgasm. I just wanted to choose similar colors. So this is also quite pink, but this has got a bit more shimmer. Guys, am I gonna say what I think I am going to say? I actually prefer the Catrice in this situation. Just because this has shimmer and I don't really, I'm not too much of a fan of shimmer in my blush. So, Catrice, you actually pull through. I'm gonna choose like, to be honest, like this is really good, but I just feel like if you're comparing the two and you wanna save coins, and but you wanted to do a good job, I'd rather go with this and save some coins. But this is still good, this is still very good. But, I mean, save your back. And then for highlighter, I, for the affordable side, I'm going to use NYX Il Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. So I'm just gonna put that over here. Just blend that in. I multi-purpose my brushes because brushes are expensive. I actually like that highlighter. It's very like gentle, very like sun-kissed. Do people still use that term? And then on my bougie side, I'm going to use, who do I want to use this? Um, just because I was looking for a similar color and texture, I'm going to use Cover FX Enhancer Drops, Custom Enhancer Drops. This is the color Candlelight. These can be quite tricky to use. You have to blend for your life. I'm just gonna put one drop on my, and a little goes a long way with this. A little, don't say I didn't warn you, because no one warned me. And then use your spoon and just put it on a little bit is glow. Okay, so for my lips, lip liner, I'm going to use Revlon Color Stay. This is the color Chocolat, chocolate for the non-French speaking. For the lipstick on this side, I am going to also use Revlon. This is the color Vel rose velvet so i'm going for more of like a 90s just see the lip liner sort of thing so yeah i'm going for more of a, like a pinky peachy lip 
on the bougie side i'm going to be using this huda beauty um lip contour in the color vixen okay i like that pencil um the pencils are both fine like i would actually go rather go with the revlon because it's more affordable and for the lipstick on this side i'm going to be using this i use almost every day it's by stiller um it is their stay all day magnificent lipstick in the color bobo bombo bobo bombo bonbon bon. okay that is a, actually a lip combination that i haven't tried before for the lipstick i'm gonna stick with my stella like i love it and i prefer like more matte but it's not too matte it's like matte creamy adjacent matte adjacent um lipsticks and that whole combo is actually going into my handbag as a set because that will be happening and now it's time for the lashes i will just put the yeah english i'll just put the oh okay no before we get to the lashes and before my english gets any worse um fixing spray so on this side i'm going to use nyx matte finish long lasting setting spray uh just let me try to this up We all know this um, MAC Prep and Prime on the other side. This one's actually going to shock you. I should be for the next. This just sprays out and blotches and no. no. So now let me put on my lashes and then we'll be back with the finished look. For the lashes, um, on the affordable side, we're using Eye Lure. Volume is number 70, so just like a simple eye look. And then these I got from the States. I haven't used them before. So we'll see. These are Velour Effortless Kit. It just looks fancy. Can't wait. Um, for eyelid, I'm going to use this Duo Gel. Also affordable. This comes with its own gel. So we'll just try that out and see how it goes. And that is the finished look. Lashes are on. Um, the main difference between the two lashes is the bougie one is made out of silk. The eyelid one... I I think it's just what is it is it plastic what? thank you guys for watching this i'm just i'll go through a lot of this video i'm feeling a bit sick things are just all over the place there's a lot of planning it was a lot but i think the look turned out great this is an expensive face guys this is bougie it's coins so you better appreciate this face this is just you know i was having some fun with my friends um but i still want to stand on you you guys don't know that my coins ain't right right now but it looks like they're right but you don't need to know the real facts and yeah so guys thank you so much for watching while you're here make sure to watch my previous video um or just any other videos that you want to watch here they are enjoy sit back before you go make sure to subscribe like hit the notification bell so you don't miss any posts my name is cheese it's your girl